Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we are going to install WordPress on IIS Web Server 2022, and also we will publish the website with the DNS name. So let's jump to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server. First of all, let's see how we can download and install MySQL. We will just type the MySQL on Google, and here you can see the download MySQL community. Just click on this, you will see this page. Let me select the 8.0.36 version. And if you see, here we do not have any MSI to download. Let's go to the MSI installer page. Here we have two editions like one web community edition and the another one the MySQL installer. So let's download this. This is the MSI installer file. You can just click on no thanks, just start my download. And now the MySQL is downloading, it is completed. So let me navigate to the folder. Now let's try to install it. Let me minimize this. Now we can select from here like MySQL 8.0.36 and add it. And inside the application, we will expand this and I will select the MySQL workbench. So I will add the workbench as well. Let's add it. And now let's click on next. You can see these two are ready to install and it is completed now. Workbench and MySQL server. Let's click on next. It is ready to configure now. So let's proceed with next. And here you can see the port 3306. We need to keep this port as default. Do not change this port. Let's click on next. And now it's recommending to put the strong password. So let me put the password here. It's showing me medium. In this case it is fine but in your case you should choose the strong password. Let's click on next with the default settings. Next again and now let's execute this. So now you can see it is installed. Configuration completed. And now it says start MySQL workbench after setup. Let's finish this and the workbench is launched. Just click on this. Put the root password you have provided earlier. I will save this and we are successfully logged into the workbench. So let me minimize this. Let's go to the MySQL command line. Here we will put the same password to connect with the MySQL and we will create the database as a WordPress. You can see the query OK, one line affected. And now we will change it as use WordPress. And now we will create a user by typing this command. And I will create the user by the name of WP user. So you can see query OK. Now let's grant the permission on the WordPress. There is some error. Let me fix it. Now let's flush the privileges. It is misspelled. So you can see query OK. So we have created the database. We have created the user given the permission and flush the privileges. Let me exit. Now let's go to the wordpress.org to download the latest version of the WordPress. Now the WordPress is downloaded and I will try to extract this. And I will try to extract this inside the inetpub folder that is www root C drive inetpub inside the www root. And I will extract it here. You can see the path. Let me extract it now. It is extracted. You can see the WordPress folder inside the www root. And now we have to edit this file wpconfig.php. Let me rename it first. We will remove the sample from here and we'll make it wpconfig.php. Let's edit this. Let me scroll it down. And here you can see the DB name that is database we have created in MySQL that is WordPress. And the user we have created wp user and we have put the password as the password. Website is in my same machine. So the local host is fine. So it is done. And now if we go to the WP admin and see the install.php here. So this file will help us to install the WordPress. So let me put it on the browser WordPress install.php. You can see we have the page here. Let me put the site title as my WordPress site and username as Jack. And let's try to copy this password in the notepad file. I will quickly paste it. Let's go back. And here you have to put your email as well. So I'll put my email address. 
and then we will click on install WordPress so let's wait for a while and now the WordPress has been installed let me save this you can see the username is Jack and WordPress has been installed thank you and enjoy so let's try to log in now you can see we are logged into the WordPress so WordPress has been successfully installed if we go to the sites and we will click add website and I will name the website as testingo.in and we will locate the folder as WordPress OK and I will assign it the IP so it is done and if you want to add it with the domain name you can add a binding and you can type the domain name here and close make sure you configure the DNS accordingly so if I try to browse it with the IP you can see the WordPress website is loading and it is loaded and if we see the WP admin we have a admin page here let's try to log in to confirm it so it is logged in successfully now if you want to open it with the domain name we can just go to the testingo.in click on bindings and I will add a SSL binding let's type the name testingo.in and I will select the previous certificate we have installed and we'll click on OK close it let me restart it now if I try to browse it with the name you can see testingo.in website is open and we have a SSL here the connection is secure and the SSL certificate is from the let's encrypt so we have successfully installed the WordPress and bind it with the DNS name in order to see the PHP configuration you can watch the previous video I hope the video was informative let's meet in the next video thanks for watching if you enjoy this video and want to see more don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content